All right, welcome to another Yijian video. My very first video was on Cloud Sword. Haven't done one in a while. It was on this character here, but I've been playing this character more now. Yijian um, Two Three Zhao Four Qi Five Zhao Liu Yin. All right, got a match. Jing Ting Yan Fei Yan Luo. It's right in the middle of a cloud sword and a key start. This card I normally don't like, but it's level two. So it's like Um it's norm so it makes it weird. I think I'll get rid of it though. Start. I, I like the Thunder Sword, but so this card, this character is fun. I just like multi attacking. I like doing like fast moon shades, and then just multi attacking. And it's kind of like the most. It has like the most interesting cloud sword because all the other cloud swords have like very specific ways to build them, but his cloud sword is very fluid because of how it operates, where you can put non cloud sword cards in between. I didn't get. Uh, this is interesting. Interesting start. I could do that. Or I could combine and just put this in and make it take an extra turn. I think I'll do this for now. Um, like, like what I mean is combine these, put this in, and then spend a turn to generate the keys, what I mean by that. But yeah, I like I like how unique his Cloud Sword is. That's why I've been playing him. You can you can put in the non cloud sword cards in between, and it doesn't break your chain. And um, it, it just has like a lot of custom kind of builds because of. I can hold Damn, he went first. I wanted to absorb. I was like, I knew he could go first. Whereas if I um, absorbed the cloud sword touch earth, um, I would have went first. So it probably would have been better to absorb and spend the extra turn generating the key. Because that extra turn is kind of free anyway. If, it, if I'm going first, if that makes sense. All right. None of these are are cultivation. That's brutal. I could do a cloud sword card add defense, or I could do meteor blinch. It's looking like. This is 6 HP, so I would need to play 6 Cloud Swords for this to reach the same value. Um, honestly, I think I'm just going to take this, especially because I'm not sure what I'm going to do as I like transition to the later stages of the game. Store Key also isn't, isn't bad. Actually, I'm going to take Store Key. I'm going to do something a little... I was going to play... I was going to do this with the Store Key. I'm going to actually just do that. Now I can play it once for free, and uh, I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna try to kill him before reaching it on the second play. It's a plan. Sorry if I'm, I'm leaning back, and I don't know if that's ruining the audio. So the goal is obviously now I have no key, so I'm not gonna try to kill him before I reach it the second time, which shouldn't be hard to do. This is the this is the card. This is like the main card of this character. So you always lock that in. Get rid of that. We'll play this. It's not like I go first. So I might as well just hold on to this. Once I hit 21, I can change these orders around to play like the best cards first instead of worrying about the Cloud Sword chain. Again, sorry for leaning back, it's ruining the audio. Oh yeah, I wanted to make this video. Okay, I, I forgot. Um, I'm starting a League channel. League of Legends. Okay? For those of you who like that. Um, so I'm not going to be putting it on this channel because I know a lot of people in the indie game 
community don't really care about League of Legends. Uh, I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be trying to doing Vagar top to masters. That's the plan, which I know is weird, uh, which is why I'm doing it right. Um, right now I'm in Diamond Three, Vagar top. That's the first video. Uh, I'm gonna be playing. I'm not one tricking. I'm doing other stuff. So I'll also be playing. I'll say in order of how much I'm gonna play them most likely. Vagar, Shogath, Kale. So as you can see, I love my scaling, love my greed in my indie games and my league. Uh, Wukong, which I'm trying to learn. I'm kind of inting on, not going to lie. And uh, Flit. So anyway, if you enjoy league content, check that out. Oh, and it's going to be called Trails LOL or LOL Trails. I forget which one it is. It's just my channel name. Um, it's just my channel name, but with lol in, in the beginning or the end. I really want to hit this breakthrough here. It's a bit awkward. I won't, I think. Oh, I'm getting slow. I kind of absorbed two cards. Normally I, hit, normally I hit the breakthrough in that turn, but, um, because I wasn't able to get cultivation, on uh, the first breakthrough. Uh, I guess I can't. I should have just put, I don't know why I was thinking. I was putting this at the end because I was like, I don't want to play it. Like I want to play it. I, I want to be faster than that. But I could have just, I, I wouldn't play it even if I put it second to the end. Like I'm not reaching it all the way around anyway. So I should have just played this in this order. I don't, I don't know if I've said that in a way that made sense. I don't want to this, is what I'm saying. Because it's like, it's just not value. But if I put it here, I'm only playing it once. Whereas if I put it here, I'm also only playing it once. So it doesn't matter which when it's really in. So I might as well put it there for the increased value, is what I was trying to say. And now I can change the order of things. So now I actually will do this. Um, because this is just the most damage. And we'll do something like that. Order doesn't matter now because of this. Cloud hit can be triggered even if no cloud sword is played first. And then another one, another part of it that's interesting is a successive count of cloud sword will not be reset. So there's two cards that matter for it. There's a card that generates key based on how much Cloud Sword you've played before it. And it doesn't matter. What a bizarre placement for the elixir. It doesn't matter um, if you put cards in between. It'll it'll generate still. And the other one it matters for is the fifth tier card that generates defense. It's a multi-hit card that generates defense based on how many Cloud Swords you've played. So both those cards now don't care. All right. Indeed, no. It's taking a lot more than I would have expected here. I don't feel that weak. Uh, I'm gonna do this. And just try to kill before. I have that extra key, right, that I'm starting with. Probably not going first. Actually, I could go first. I don't know. Like, this could be so much value in the future. I just noticed that's burned. It just looked like, I thought it was like, like, I didn't see the top of the head. So I thought it was like weird blue flames or something. Show <laughs> way, Actually, now that I think about it, isn't rock a bird? A type of bird? ROC? Alright, so I can only play this once, but matter. Let's see. 
this is a card I was talking about where it doesn't matter the um, if you put cla like non cloud sword cards in between, it won't break your chain. So now I definitely let's probably get rid of that. I want to be playing this giant rock spirit sword. This is one. This is two. This is three. So I want to be doing something like this. Could also do that, maybe. I'm wondering if this. Yeah, we'll do that. Um. I have so much more cultivation in this guy that I'm just gonna hold on to these, but I don't actually care about them. Like on the off chance I hit a level three, like sure, but I don't mind absorbing them if I if I needed to. I always forget what immortality is. I, like I know him by I just call him by number, like one through five, the different breakthroughs. I don't. Uh, I don't remember what their names are. I should probably learn it, considering how much I played this game. I hope this gets me my three. Yeah, okay. And then on subsequent playthroughs, it gets me even more because it's for each su successive cloud sword played before, but it doesn't like care about succession when, once you take that perk. All right, so we can definitely break through here. That's good. Damn, not a lot of cultivation offers this game. I might just take this. It's two cultivation plus uh, cards containing the word sword. So cloud sword is included in that. There we go. Those are actually really good picks. Um, do something like this. Probably get rid of the U. Thing here. This is 14 damage. This ends up being 11 plus 8, 19. Because it's 8 because it's attacking twice. So that's better. Interesting. Um, okay. I wanted to do more than. I, I didn't have time to set it up. I could have done it. Oh, you did He's defensive too, it looks like, but I'm going to scale because I have the increased attack. So, I should win. Don't care about this right now, or maybe ever, to be honest. Yeah, ever. So I want to do this. That way I can. Uh, so it's three cloud swords played before, plus the one key from this. It's four key. One, two, three, four, five. So that's an issue. Get rid of you. Something like that. I'm not going first, so I can just hold on. Shouwei Tongmen, Wadang Tse Wu Pang Dai. So 
Upgrading the moonshade is top priority. Ooh, weakened on the exact turn. And I'm doing most of my damage. Plus, he got a full elixir. So, lineups aren't looking good. Yeah, I lost. Alright, I got two, door two more deaths in me. That's good. That's good. All right. <clears throat> Let's see. I might get, let me get rid of that, if I'm being honest. This is so strong, being able to do that. And that's three key plus the one from this. Um. Yeah, this is good. Where's our mortality? Okay, it's that. So I'm almost to the max moon shade, which is huge. I'm considering even playing it instead of this. But that would, nah, probably not. Actually, yeah. You, you don't really want to keep this forever. More of a mid-game card. Unless you're playing the lady that sits on a moon. She's not here right now. It's lobby, but <laughs> I said that. She's not here right now. I said it like I was like answering the door or something. Um, for the most part, that's just a mid-game card. All right, not bad. So that extra key I took was actually uh, kind of clutch. Oh man, I could have upgraded this if I kept it. It's fine. I could draw three cloud swords or do two sword intent. So two cultivation and two sword intent. Or three cultivation. But the thing is, I'd rather do three because I also really want to make use of these exchange chances. And like, it's not nothing to like pick Cloud Sword cards considering that's what I'm doing. All right. I want to like get a level four one just because it's like right in my face. At the same time, I don't want it for the future. But I am going to do it. Um, all right, that's full chase. So I will be doing that. This is four. That extra key is coming in clutch, actually, because this is only going to be three key. But then this costs four, but it still works. All right. Pretty good. Pretty good. So this is like a very classic setup on this character. Is you'll do... Flash Wind into Moonshade, into Dragon Roam, into either Coercion or the multi attack card that gives you key based on like when you, how much injured you do. Then some combination of like this card and this card and, you know, something else. So this is a very classic setup. Nice. Yeah, this is going super well. Um, 
I'm gonna do here? Probably combine these, play this. I could also put this instead of you, but I think I'm fine with this. This might be better that way, to be honest. Actually, I'm gonna do this because now I get defense, like more defense. I mean, it, it increases the likelihood I'll get to the final part of the build, if that makes sense. Like, it makes more, it, it, it increases the likelihood I'll get a turn four. Because if I'm not going first, like I won't be going first against her. If she kill if she kills me on turn four, I don't even get my turn four. So that's how I'm gonna set it up. <clears throat> now, next step is get the multi-attack card to go here, upgrade the moonshade, and then I'm sitting really strong at that point. Funny, that extra key is actually coming in really, really handy, to be honest. It'd be kind of awkward to place this to get four key. I would have to probably, I'd probably just have to switch. I would have to switch the step lightly here and switch the roam here. Because I wouldn't, because I, if I'm playing the coercion here, I can only play the cards that cost key after it, right? So I could only play the cards that cost key here if I'm playing the coercion here. I don't, I, I'll, I'll I'll show it. It. I don't know how confusing it is when I'm like talking about the game. I don't know how familiar people are with the game. Um, so I'll show it next round what I'm talking about if that was too confusing. It's an order lull. There's no reason to do that. I don't think. Oh, he wants to keep. He wants to. Oh, no, there is. There is. Nice. This is the card I was talking about. Is this more damage, though? This is three. This would be 16, right? Whereas this is 14, so it is more damage. Is there any defense for me to really worry about? Uh, he could get like the de Sometimes they get the defense guard, but not really. Oh, he has defense, but yeah, not really. I'm going to get rid of it. Nice. Look at that. So what I was talking about before, okay? The coercion was getting three key. So if I place the coercion here, let's pretend this is coercion. I shouldn't have absor absorbed it. Then I wouldn't have the key for this. So I would have to do it in an order like that. I'm pretending this was coercion, right? I would have to go like that. So it's a little bit awkward uh, because I'm playing this step lightly so soon. I guess it doesn't really change anything. But, um, anyway. I'm going to set it up like that. And now I just need to make sure this doesn't get blocked. But again, no defense in the lobby. Otherwise, I would have, um, I would have kept that coercion. I never understand why these people go plant master. He's got smash defense. It actually kind of matters against me. I have a decent amount of defense. I don't think it matters though. If I lose this, that'd be actually kind of crazy. Like, I'm pretty strong right now. And let's take the chase. Alright. Nice. 
max upgraded step lately. And as you can see, I don't use any, uh, probably never playing this again, especially because I have this level two. Like you could make an argument to putting this there, but because this is level two, I just don't think I'm ever playing another one of these. All right. Are these worth absorbing? Is the question. Um, like I mean, I mean, like combining. That's two extra defense, and one extra hit. So I'd be going from six hits to still six hits, right? This is this is two times three, two times three, and it'd be two times four, two times two. I'd be going from. And this is now ten defense. I'd be going to ten, so it's like the exact same thing. I might as well absorb them to get my damage more front loaded, I guess. And we'll do that. And now with this moonshade, max level. Um I'm sitting really good. Uh and it's it's so interesting. Is this an interesting build? Because it's like this is not cloud sword, this is not cloud sword, this is not cloud sword, but it all just works anyway because of this character's specific thing. So he just has like the most interesting cloud sword. Because like the other cloud swords kind of become the same thing. Like like you always end up doing the same cloud sword build on the other cloud sword characters. Whereas whereas on this character, I feel like I I I do a lot of different builds. Nice. You never you don't see this card level three very often. Nice. Not even utilizing my uh free exchange chance. There's no way I'm spending eight. <laughs> if I was super greedy, I could spend eight. But no. If I was at to be honest, if I was at nine, I would spend the eight to get this and start rolling. But being at twenty eight, it's it's possible I survive a, a, a death, so when is he skipping? One he goes first. So I actually want to do that. Because he's skipping my dragon room. Right? One. One. Two. He's skipping this card here. So. Do I ever, like... This that'd be pretty crazy. That would be like a super hard read to like switch these around. Um, but that that would be like if he completely doesn't change anything. And I don't think I'm willing to risk that. I could die to this guy. That would suck. Because I'm really strong right now. So to die, because he does extra damage. That's like his class perk. So if he beats me, I'm probably dead. And I didn't take my this. If I die, I Cause this, this is totally video worthy. So I really hope I don't die. <laughs> Let's see if he does a, he does do the skip. Oh no, he doesn't. So I'm, I'm glad I didn't, you know, change it up too much. Oh, he puts the guard up there. Wow, that I wouldn't have chased because of that. That's pretty funny. All right, and he's gone. Good. That's funny. I wouldn't have chased because I'm only attacking twice. It's actually something I thought of. I didn't say it out loud, but that's one benefit of keeping these separate as two as two two times threes is I'm less likely to like not get the chase. I wasn't thinking specifically of guard up, but I was thinking of like of, of getting the injured. So that's funny. Now I go first. There's no way this guy beats me, right? 
I mean, I have like everything I want, pretty much. And I'm, and I'm always going first. But the thing about the physique builds is, I mean, look, he's got all the physique stuff. So, these builds just scale, right? Infinitely. But I think they scale infinitely a little bit slower than my Vagar, Vagar top does, if you want to watch my link video. You know what? I'll, I'll, let me let me come up with the title now because my channel's so small that like it's probably not gonna be recommended. So I'll come up with the video so you can like look it up, and I'll release it at the same time as this video. So let's think of the title because I already I already filmed it. So let's think about it. I'll say. 1200 AP, Vagar top, breaks the meta. Okay, that's gonna be the video. Round two with eight attack this time. There's no way this guy beats me. He just the damage isn't high enough. Nice. That. Look at that. Look at this. This cultivation literally doesn't matter. I can just roll it. But I did. <coughs> Let's see. What am I going to do here? I'm definitely doing that. No level 1 cards in here. So this is hitting one of these. Literally all of them are good. But I can also like... No, I... Okay, here's what I'm thinking. I want to... I want to... Just do it like this. Because I want to roll. So, and, and I wouldn't get to roll if I absorbed. If that makes sense. If I absorbed him to guarantee hitting something, I wouldn't get to use my rolls. And now there's like no reason to roll because I need two of any card anyway. So, um. So I'm, ne I'm never upgrading. But I'll keep it in case, uh... Oh, wow, what? His cultivation got way higher. <coughs> I'll keep it in case I die, and then I... I could do it next turn. I could die. Oh, that's close. All right, I'm glad. I'm glad. Top one. Very unique cloud sword. The most unique cloud sword in the game, probably. And remember, if you follow lead content, 1200 AP Vagar top breaks the meta. Thank you for watching.